Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Sharmat. From this session, we are going to start another series which is related to medical terminology. So this is very important topic for uh, in terms of medical coding, medical billing, and uh, especially in case of healthcare sector, right? Because if you are not able to understand the terminology, then we are not supposed to perform some operations on it, right? So this is the first and foremost requirement for learning about the medical coding, that you should be aware of all the types of medical terminology that we use. In our previous session, we discuss about the basic structure, like how the medical terminology is originated, what all components are there in the medical terminology. So those things we have already discussed, right? From this part, means uh, we are going to start with the actual terminology that we will use, or that you may encounter during your documentation while reading some medical documentation. You might uh, encounter with these terms. Okay. So this will be a large topic. So we, I have divided it into multiple parts. So one by one, we will cover each and every session for this uh, terminology. Okay. So let's start. So for today, we are going to discuss about those terminology prefixes that denotes number or amount. Okay. So as I told you in previous session, there are three parts or sometimes four part in a medical term like uh, prefix, root word. Uh, and then we have suffix and sometime correction word also okay so we will discuss one by one each part so in this session we are going to discuss about those prefix only the prefix which denote uh, that denotes the number or amount okay so let's see what all things we have noted down here so first uh, term or you can say first prefix is macro so what is macro Whenever you see that there is a prefix use macro, that means it is indicating something is large or amount, large amount. Okay, so macro means large amount. So it is uh, mainly used in order to show that uh, let's say if, uh, there there are few examples I have noted down here. So we will discuss that thing. But for now, you can just understand that whenever you see macro, it is something related to large amount. Okay. So here I have uh, noted down a couple of uh, terminology that will help you to understand what is the use of macro. So the first example is macrocytosis. So here it is written macrocytic macrocytosis refers to the presence of abnormally large red blood cells in the blood. So you can see it is indicating abnormally large large amount. Okay, large amount of red blood cells in the blood then it is known as my macrocytosis so here if you focus on this entire term there are macro is used as prefix so which is indicating large red blood cells in the um, blood okay this condition can be indicative of certain medical issues such as vi vitamin b12 deficiency or folate deficiency anemia okay so in this term we we got to know about that that yes macro is used and it is representing abnormally large red blood cells so the word large is indicating by the prefix macro clear now the second thing is macroglossia so what is written here abnormal enlargement of the tongue which can be caused by various co congenital or acquired condition congenital means uh, the situation which is from birth till uh, from the birth right so here it is mentioned abnormally enlargement of the tongue so enlargement is indicating large large amount right so again we are using macro glossia where macro is representing uh, our large amount okay then we have third thing macro albuminuria Macroalbuminuria is a condition characterized by the presence of significant amount of albumin, a protein in the urine. It is often used as an indicator of kidney, kidney damage and associated with various renal and metabolic disorders. So again, this macro is indicating large, you can see significant amount of album albumin. Albumin is a protein in the urine it is often used as an indicator of kidney damage or can be associated with various renal and metabolic disorder so these are the some example or you can say these are the some terms that is composed with the help of macro prefix 
okay so macro is clear that it is representing something large whenever you see macro in any of the word you you can easily identify yes it is representing something large something related to large amount like here it is it denoting large red blood cells here it is denoting large abnormal enlargement of the tongue here it is representing the significant amount of albumin okay so this is how you will identify the terms which is initiated with macro prefix all right now let's focus on the next slide here we are using micro so micro is just opposite of the macro micro means small amount macro means large amount okay so let's see the few example here first one is microcytosis we have also discussed about macrocytosis so there were large amount of red blood cells right here what is written here microcytosis is a condition characterized by the presence of abnormally small red blood cell so here the blood cells is red uh, small so it might be a interview question like uh, what what is the difference between macrocytosis and microcytosis so from prefix itself you can answer yes it is denoting the small red blood cell and that macro is denoting the large red blood cells okay it is often associated with the disorder like iron deficiency anemia and thala thalassemia affecting the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood then we have microangiopathy microangiopathy refers to small vessel disease so again it is representing a small small vessel disease diseases particularly affecting the small small blood vessels it is often associated with condition like diabetes mellitus and can lead the complications in organ and tissues due to impaired blood flow so again micro is used to show something uh, as small amount small vessel disease okay then we have microalbuminuria again we have already discussed about the macro so it is just opposite microalbuminuria is a condition where small amount of albumin a protein are present in the urine it can be an early indicator of kidney damage often associated with conditions such as diabetes or hypertension okay so from this itself we can identify yes it is representing something small amount so uh, microalbuminuria or macro albuminuria both are clear because now we know the meaning of prefix micro and micro all right now focus on the third one third one is for hyper which is indicating higher or above normal or sometimes elevated all the th terms are equal right same higher above normal or elevated so let's few example of it hypertension this is most commonly used term in medical terminology right we know we heard that most of the time hypertension what it means hypertension or high blood pressure is a medical condition where the force of blood against the walls of arteries is consistently too high so if you are indicating too high thing then for sure you are supposed to use the hyper term okay it is significant risk factor of for cardiovascular disease and other health problems so hypertension means uh, it is indicating something very high or above normal high blood pressure we can say right then we have hyperthyroid thyroid thyroidism meaning hyperthyroidism is a condition in which in which the thyroid gland produces an excess of the thyroid horm hormones excess means high high above normal so again hyper is used for indicating higher thing this can result in an overreactive metabolism leading to symptom symptoms such as weight loss increased high heart rate and nervousness okay so this is how we can identify Uh, the term hyper is used for high or above normal things then we have hyperglycemia meaning uh, hyperglycemia is a medical condition character uh, characterized by the elevated level of glucose so again as i told you that it is also indicating elevated levels of glucose sugar in the blood it is commonly associated with di uh, diabetes mellitus and can lead to various complication if not managed properly so this is how we can easily read out the terms and indicate yes or identify that, that yes this is the uh, term which is indicating higher thing fine now focus on the next slide which is hypo hypo is used for 
indicating something which is lower than normal or decrease in decrease value what is mentioned here first one is hypoxia hypoxia is a condition in which there is insufficient oxygen reaching the body tissue so insufficient means lesser below normal decreased so that is indicated by the term hypo hypo is a prefix which is indicating the below normal it can be caused by various factors including respiratory cardiovascular issues and can lead to symptoms such as shortness of breath confusion and cyanosis okay so this term hypo is indicating lower thing okay fine then we have hy hypokalemia hypokalemia is a condition characterized by the lower than normal levels of potassium in the blood again it is indicating lower than normal so this is denoted by hypo in the blood potassium is the essential for various bodily function including nerve and muscle cell function hypokalemia can lead to weakness muscle cramp and irregular heart rhymes okay so this is another example for hypo hypotension which is you can compare it with hypertension right hypertension means high blood pressure and hypotension means low blood pressure uh, is a it is a condition where the force of blood against the walls of the arteries is consistently too low so if you want to show something too low then you will use the term hypo it can result in symptoms like dizziness fainting and fatigue okay so yeah these are the few uh, prefix which i would like to share with you all in order to explain the term uh, the medical term prefixes that denotes the number or amount okay so likewise we will proceed for all the terminology we will cover each and every terminology that comes under the medical sector so i request you to please keep a note of all these things this will be very helpful for your interviews as well if you are preparing for some certification course that that is very essential thing so just take a note and if you have any query any doubt you can uh, put in the uh, comment section okay as usual we always uh, put some questions so today's question is what are the key component of medical terminology so here i am asking only those question which is already covered so i think you can easily answer it, that question and those who answer the correct answer those who put the uh, correct answer i will pin that comment so that others can take a reference from it and it will also help you to uh, answer and to prepare for your interviews so i recommend you to please put the answer in the comment section so yeah that's all for today thank you for watching tech sharmat